All right, my painting is dry now, so I am ready to go in and add some more details. So this time, I want to be real careful where I wet my paper. I want to leave those white spots dry, okay? So I'm gonna go in with a wet paintbrush and make sure it has a nice fine point to it. So I'm just gonna pinch the bristles like this. There we go. And I'm just gonna go in and wet the page. And I'm leaving little white spots. And then I'm gonna paint around it, okay? And add a touch of brown to that and look how it spreads. So just want to make sure I can see. Sometimes with the wet on wet technique, you can go in and just, you know, paint uh, water in an area. But if you can't see it and that's too frustrating for you, then no problem. Now the spots are not always perfect little round spots, so I'm gonna make start making mine a little bit more organic, okay? Kind of like in the picture. And then I can always paint inside here. Now anywhere where I wet the paper, that paint is gonna bleed into that area. You want that to happen. That's one of the nice things about watercolor painting. Okay, so I'm letting that paint spread to those wet areas. I am using a very, very small amount of water. If you have a paintbrush that's too wet, then this is not gonna work very well for you because it's just gonna, you won't be able to control it because it's just too wet. So just be mindful of that. Now I'm just adding a little water to my brush and I'm gonna start making that those pigments move around just a little bit more. Gotta keep that paper wet or it's gonna dry. And if you want to be able to play with the colors and mix and do the different things that we see in the picture, you've gotta keep that paper wet. As my paper is wet, I'm just adding a little bit of pigment in there so I can bring that paint around and then blend it. And see what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of pull it around with a little bit more water as I get to the areas where it's a really translucent and doesn't have much color. 
or a pigment. And then I'm going to just start adding some of my other colors in there. A little bit of yellow, a little bit of orange, and we need to get some dark browns in there too. And right now I'm just going to try to blend it as much as I can. keeping it white so I can manipulate what um, the colors do. So I'm just going to pull this around a little bit more and then I'm going to start adding a little bit of my other browns in here. I'm going to make a new dark brown, which is going to be just my brown mixed with black. Not very much. Just a little bit of black can go a long way. Otherwise, whoops, I got a little too dark with my black. So look what I'm going to do. I'm just going to kind of pull that over to the side. And that's much better. Okay, now I've got the color that is going to match what I see in my picture. Let's see how it's wanting to puddle up. Your paper's going to start curling a little bit. You guys aren't even using watercolor paper most likely, and it's probably going to be harder for you with your paper, but um, when you notice it start curling, just kind of try to hold it down with your hands. And if you see it puddling, just drag that paint to other areas. to take some water and I'm just going to start blending it down into the bottom where it fades like in that picture see where it fades a little bit there's a little yellow in there I'm touch the page with a little bit of yellow just a little not too much Less is more in this case. And I'm going to add a lot more water here. Just adding water, okay? And now I'm just going to touch my yellow paint on my palette. And I'm going to touch the orange. Just see what happens there. Let that um, do the magic. So if you're looking at my port, my picture over here, and then you compare it to this one here, I'm just trying to do my version of that, which is not going to look exactly like the artist um, did theirs. Mine's going to be my version. Yours will be your version. And if something's not looking quite right, like I'm seeing a couple inconsistencies, I'm just gonna go in and add a little more paint so I can make my little reindeer stand out. I'm just going to touch that darker color on my palette. Not that I'm trying to get a black, I'm just going for a really dark brown and less is more. I'm just doing a little touch, touch, touch on my paper. Really lightly. 
and letting that watercolor do its thing. It's going to spread. That is the glory of watercolor painting. I think I got a little too dark there. I'm going to just add some water and a little bit of my yellow. A little orange in there. I'll do a little blending. Put a little orange over here. And the reason I'm not working on the face right now is because I don't want what I'm doing right here to blend into the face. Um, I want that to stay dry. And if you look at the picture, there's really, you can't see the little legs of the deer. We just see a little bit of a um, color. So I'm just gonna get a real wet brush and I'm just gonna real lightly kind of blend that color in to the bottom. And I see a little boo-boo right here over to the side. I want to try to get that to go away. I'm going to use a paint, little bit of paper towel. Soak it up. Put a little bead of water on there. Let it soak a little bit. And do a lift. There's just a little bit of paint over here. If I really don't like it, I can just kind of make it look purposeful. So I'm just going to go ahead and watercolor all of the bottom. I'm just using straight water by blending just a little bit of what I had up at the top. Just going to blend that and bring it down. We have a little bit of red down here. Whoop, got a little crazy. It's starting to spread. I don't like it. Just do a little dab, 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 and that fixes it.